Throughout the year, Google offers two different branches of Android for their Pixel smartphones. The version of Android that comes installed on your device is the stable build, but the company also offers a beta version for those who want to test out the latest new features that they have been working on. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the latest beta version of Android on your Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. And this process will also work on the upcoming release of Google's 2023 mid-range smartphone, likely to be called the Pixel 7a. Now, due to the nature of beta releases, many people recommend that you unlock the bootloader of your device ahead of time, or at the very least, you first enable the OEM unlocking toggle in the developer options area. This is not required in order to install the beta version of Android, but if something bugs out that prevents you from downgrading back to the stable build, you can at least have the ability to manually flash official firmware from Google. You should also know ahead of time that if you decide that you're done using the beta version of Android and you want to go back to the stable build, then you'll need to wipe all of the data from your phone during the downgrade process. Google does have a way of transitioning from the beta build back to the stable build at the end of their testing cycle, but this won't help you if you abruptly decide to go back to the stable version. Now, when you're ready to test out the beta version of Android, which is currently Android 13 QPR2 beta 1, then you'll need to visit the Android beta portal. I'll be linking to this website in the video description below. But you can also access it by going to google.com slash android slash beta. Now once here, go ahead and sign into your Google account using the button at the top right. And then read through all of the information the company has made available on this website. This will give you a brief overview about the program, warn you about losing your data if you decide to leave the beta program early, and then offer you a list of your eligible devices that can be enrolled into the program. We can opt into the Android beta program by finding our eligible device on the page and then tapping the blue button there. You're going to need to agree to the terms and then confirm that you want to enroll. And make sure that you get the device enrolled prompt to confirm that the, you have indeed opted in to the Android beta program. Once the device has been enrolled, it can take up to 24 hours before the new over the air update is made available to you but once the device has opted in, you can then go to manually check for that new over the air update from within the settings application. So we go settings, system, and then system update. In my experience, you usually only have to wait a minute or two before that new update is made available to your device. So once we go to this page, we just need to manually check by tapping that button at the bottom right. Once the update has been made available to your device, you're going to get this notice about the system update. Again, read through this information about the Android 13 beta. And then tap the download and install button at the bottom right.
This installation process will take some time to complete, just like with all new over the air updates, with the optimizing apps process generally taking the longest. Once the long system update process is complete, we can reboot the phone by tapping the Restart Now button at the bottom and then waiting for the device to reboot and complete the over-the-air update install. Now after the phone boots back up, it should be booted back into Android with the latest beta version released and completely installed to your device. You'll know whether or not you have the beta build installed on your device since you're going to be shown a feedback pop-up every time you boot back into the operating system. You can even double check to see which version of Android is installed by checking the About section of this settings application, tapping on the Android version option, and then comparing the build number to the build number that is currently available in the latest version of Android Beta.